Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of the Iceberg Lounge. I'm your ho- one of your hosts, Thomas Single, along with the other host, Randy Dobbins. Say hey. Hey. And in this episode, we're going to finally finish our Fortnite Batman review series on the comic arc that came out in collaboration with DC and Fortnite. And so after the commercial break, we will hop back in to zero point. I'm just saying Marvel did it first. (laughs) Anyway, we'll be right back after this commercial break. Hey, this is Thomas Single from the Iceberg Lounge, and I'm here to talk to you today about Anchor, the easiest way to make a podcast. Anchor gives you everything you need in one place, and guess what? It's absolutely free, which you can use right from your cell phone or computer just like I do. They even have creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast so it sounds amazing. They'll even distribute your podcast for you. You don't even have to do it yourself. So it can be heard everywhere from Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and many more. You can even make money from your podcast with minimum listenership. So why don't you download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. And we're back. So on page one, um, we are seeing what was happening just after issue five ended and it looks like catwoman was able to get the uh hopper yeah the hopper away from deathstroke um before he ended up fully getting away And, and so now we move on to page two. And it seems that Catwoman might have broken it a little. Yeah, that's what I get from it. And it says, and Batman right here says the collaboration mechanism shattered. It's stuck on one setting, and that one setting is literally just heading back into the loop. Yeah. But we see Batman says, you know, there's one other person, because in the last issue, they said they needed a third person with, from the same universe, so that way they can really precisely get back to Gotham. And Batman remembers, oh, wait. There's Harley Quinn. Exactly. And Catwoman's just like, you know, saying, "Ah, she probably won't be into it, you know, because she's probably lost her memories just like they did. But Batman was like, "Uh, let's go ahead and get this done. So we can get out of here just to see. And so Batman hooks on to the battle bus and off they go to the island. On the next page, we go to see Harley Quinn fighting off Cuddle Team Leader. We get a little appearance from Man Cake. Um, Thomas says all the time, worst character in the game. No, Man Cake is one of the best, and Butter Barn still should have been around. I'm sad they took it out after one season. Butter they also Barn took out uh, Wild Card too. Oh yeah, Wild Card as well. And it looks like they are uh, near Stealthy. It looks like. Um, that's the only place that I know of that has walls that high. Yeah. Yeah. No, still. wait, wait, wait. That's one of the bridges. Um, are you sure about that? Because yeah, if because you look the bridges. Because look at the top of it; it looks like a bridge. Yeah, yeah. I think it. Yeah, you're right. I, you're. I right. think that's Green Bridge. 
Uh, okay, so we move on to the next one. Um, so now they're they're sort of fighting Harley, I guess, trying to uh, tag her so that they can track her. And uh, yeah, they're just literally just fighting her. And um, it looks like she has been able to talk the whole time, Randy. Apparently. Like, I don't, I don't understand then how she could talk the whole time. Unless she was out of the loop at first, which I s- still don't understand that. But because she says, or maybe your numbskulls could figure out that I don't want to go. So it seems like she doesn't want to go back to Gotham. From what she says. Let's see. Let me look down on the next page. Um, It says, you can talk. How can you talk? And she goes, duh, probably because I'm amazing. Like this island until the two of you came back and won't shut up. And Batman's shocked that she recognizes him. Exactly. And on, let's see, let's see, yeah, she goes, she loves it on the Fortnite Island. She goes, you fight and dress up and fight and die and get up and do it again and look awesome doing it. Um, So she loves the island, like, like she wouldn't mind being stuck here and literally going through the loop over and over again, which is insanity. But she is Harley Quinn. And look, I mean that, and look how she's like with she's with Joker. Oh so yeah, exactly. Yeah, because another thing she was saying on this page is the fighting, the flossing, the total bonkers craziness of the whole island. These are my people. This is my place. She utterly loves the chaos and she wants to stay. But eventually, on the next page, uh, they ended up knocking her out. Um, And literally, Batman goes, our world must be very strange. (laughs) <laughs> that woman was like, just figuring that out now, aren't you? And he's also shocked that because he says, I assume she lost her memory too. Exactly. Um, so that means she has to be out. She must have came with Deathstroke or something. Yeah, she must have been. It's just, it's just that that part kind of confused me. Um, But they're basically just saying that they're just going to use her to head home, but then leave her here since she wants to just stay here. Yeah. Which is kind of nice. Um, and so now on the next page, we see what most Fortnite players will buy in the comics for, and it is the Armored Batman Zero. Yeah. But what's interesting is a Armored Catwoman Zero that was never released. That we've never seen. It was never released, and it's, and it's right here. Looks just like Lynx, to be honest. Um, it kind of looks like a mix between Lynx and Black Panther. Exactly, and so now I'm wondering if we will ever get this version of Catwoman. We might get Uh, it in the one-shot comic coming out in October. You know what? You're right. I did not think about that. That would be a nice little little thing. Um, And here's something funny that I don't know if they put in the background for a reason, but in the background you have what looks like the Joker, but it's Fortnite's version. 
Yeah, it's I don't remember the clan's name, but you, you have, have Chun- you, got, you got Scarecrow. Have, yeah, which is Fortnite's version of Scarecrow from Batman. Yeah. And then Chuggis which is basically uh Bane. Fortnite yeah, Fortnite's version of Bane. And who's, who's the girl who would be the girl right under uh, uh Catwoman's arm? Only person that I could relate that to in Batman's universe might might be Talia Al Ghul, um, which is the daughter of Ra's al Ghul, the uh, leader of the League of Shadows. Um, I'm not sure on that one, but I am sure the other three are Easter eggs. Um, that honestly, I'm just now noticing. Uh, but the, these are the snapshots that were left behind after they escaped the loop of of Batman and of Catwoman. Because uh, even Catwoman says, you know, who are they? And Batman goes, duplicates of us. This explains why we saw beings outside the loop who are still in the loop. Seems the island creates a kind of snapshot of those who escaped. You can check out, but you ne- but you can never leave. So if you ever enter the loop, yes, you can escape, but there will always be a part of you on the island. Which is crazy to think about. I mean... Because that means everybody who's escaped the loop has a snapshot of them, which kind of explains my, uh, which brings up Modus. Yeah, and the multiple versions of him. Because there's Modus, there's the Fish Modus, there's Modus Rex, and then there's the Shadow Modus. Which could mean, because me and you have been talking about this, this theory lately. About what if Midas was part of the IO? And I've heard a lot of people talk about that though. And, you know, what if he was trying to escape the loop or break the loop somehow with the, the device event? I've heard multiple people bring this up in videos like, that what if Modest is the one working with John Jones? Well, yeah, and we also had a theory that possibly Chaos Agent could be a part of this group as well, uh, trying to topple the IO, which would make sense because if he was the leader of Shadow, then. Modest and him could team up to face a common enemy, which would be the IO. There, there's so there's so much possibility right now. But as you can see, Catwoman uh opens a rift and they rift into um the underground in the area that now can be seen. In the imposters mode, because this is the area where you fix the panels, Randy. Remember? Yeah. And so, this is the uh, what they call the bridge in imposters mode. So they're at the bridge. Um. They end up getting the connection made back to Gotham. Um, Batman says he's going to do a remote detonation explosive battering to make sure that the rift is sealed from this side. I don't know how that would work. I guess by destroying the actual, I guess, weapon. Um, But Catwoman's clutching it, though. True. Maybe we should stay. Yeah, and th- she brings up a point on the next page. 
basically, uh, Harlequin wakes up, leaves. Um, basically, Catwoman is like, if we go another page, that she's scared of going back. Because we have to remember, their memories are wiped. Like, if they go back to Gotham, they will still have no memories, possibly. And she goes, I mean, this place is strange, granted, but we know how it works. Now, we've got a autonomy, freedom, and we've got each other. And this is another romantic moment that they've had throughout the comics. You saw those snapshot versions of us. We could be happy here. Batman goes, why do you think we wouldn't be happy back home? She goes, I don't know. Maybe we're enemies or strangers or married to other people. I just, when I first met you, I figured you were useful, a way to survive, to escape the loot, but now I don't want to lose what we have. Um... And they've always had this connection throughout the comics. I've probably said this multiple times throughout this series we've covered on the podcast. But, you know, they've had they've had a kid together in canon. Um, you know, there's always been a to me, Batman and Catwoman are closer than him and Talia were ever. Um and I kind of always have wanted to see them, like, stick together, but it seems like it never happens. Next page, Batman goes, I know what you mean, and and I'd be lying if I said I had a, had similar thoughts. But I have a feeling people are counting on us on the other side. That this dimensional breach is dangerous and could happen again I have to stop that. She goes, why you? He goes, I don't know. It's, it just feels like it, it's who I am. And, and then so, they, she's like, yeah, that sounds about right. All right, and, let's go. And then they hop into the zero point and head back to Gotham. And as we can see, it is blowing up. Uh, that uh, that uh, explosive battering is blowing up the machine we saw John Jones in season five mess with to open the rift to first jump into it going into season five. Which now that is the place that we call for a meeting gap in the imposters mode. Yeah. And so they go through the rift. Um, and Catwoman acknowledges again she she doesn't remember. Then all of a sudden, you have a whole panel of just memories rushing back. Joker, Riddler, old school dressed Catwoman, the Penguin. You even have a memory of Bruce proposing to her. Also a kind of old school looking Batman as well. Exactly. Oh yeah, it is. It's in the uh, old school blue, yellow, black, and gray attire. As well, as well, if you look at the boat right above you in the old school Robin. Oh yeah, there is a Robin cameo. And so... And then you see the letter where she gives the ring back to Bruce. And so all the memories are flooding back to them from the island. And then you can see Batman go, cat. And then he corrects himself and says, Selena, because he finally remembers. She goes, don't. I told you we should have stayed. And she goes off into the Gotham back scene. And then next thing we see, we see Gordon and Batman goes, Jim, Deathstroke. 
and Gordon says came through and escaped. So Deathstroke is back and has escaped Batman and Catwoman. Yeah, but and he tells that- uh, Batman, but that it doesn't ma- all that doesn't matter where he won. He did the important thing. You closed and the crack, and no one got hurt. Exactly, and then uh, Batman says, "I'm not sure we won at all. That stroke couldn't have pulled this off without a backer. Some, someone from this world. It had to be someone wealthy, powerful, influential, and likely candidates." And this is where I'm getting chill bumps again. By the way, just turning to this page. Because it is so big and it points that this Fortnite Batman collaboration, Randy, mm. it's in the DC main universe. It's not it's not in else world, it's not in a different multiverse. This is in the main DC universe. Yeah. Which is insane. So we have another backdrop, Metropolis. Batman goes, do not put ease, do not put my mind at ease. And then you have a voice. So the crack in Gotham was closed. Not that it matters. I plan, planted an anchor device in the zero point chamber. And we see it's death stroke in Metropolis talking to Lex Luthor. How insane is this? And Destro goes, and the signal strong, which means, and then Lex goes, the tethering worked. We have the ability to return to the zero point and make use of its power. Deathstroke, exactly. And I gotta say, I had my doubts even Batman could do what we needed him to do, but it worked perfectly. Then out of panel, we have black and red uh, speech bubble. Don't give me too much credit, Deathstroke. It's not hard to predict what Batman will do when you are Batman. It is the Batman who laughs. He has teamed up with Lex and Deathstroke. And he continues to say, we needed the world's greatest detective to unlock the secrets of the island. He needed an emotional engine to drive him, Catwoman. I know a thing or two about other realities because he's from the dark multiverse. You might say all, all this is right in my wheelhouse. And Lex goes, poor drinks and such, and says, yes, yes, I'll do credit to the Batman who laughs. Though things would be much simpler if you just tell us his, your real name. Batman who laughs says, oh, stop it, Lex. I know you didn't get rich by giving up your best material for free. But let's not start fighting again. We've got exactly what we wanted. All of us. Lex goes, indeed, we delivered precisely as agreed. Reach the zero point, planted your anchor device so you could return there. So they're about to send the Batman who laughs into the zero point. Now, why is this important? Because the Batman who laughs and the last big event in D.C., was trying to destroy not only the dark multiverse, but the multiverse in general of the DC universe. And as we know, the zero point means that the Fortnite Island is in the center of all universes. It's in, in the, the middle, om- it's the omniverse. It, it's it is the center of the omniverse, so you could say if the if the Batman who laughs 
destroys the Four Knot Island that connects to everything else, he would be able to destroy everything. Not only DC, but Marvel, um, Star Wars. Alien versus Star Wars, Alien versus Predator. This Four is a omni omniversal threat. And he said, and I'd say the Imagine Order got everything it wanted. Or do you prefer they? Next page. It's Dr. Sloan. When you okay. saw Dr. Sloan there, what did you think, Randy? I flipped, I flipped out. I was like, what in the world? I was like, how did she get? First of all, how did she get there? And how did she because- know Lex and Deathstroke and the Batman who laughs? And- well, you got to think she runs the I.O. who we've seen in the trailer for the imposters mode says they have been trying to keep everything in control for thousands of years. Yeah. And think about this though. The uh, person behind her, Thomas, is not an IO guard. It isn't. So um, who is it? I forgot the character's name. It's probably an enforcer. Is that who you're thinking of? Yeah. Which there's been ties between the enforcers or the IO guards just, I guess, upgraded almost. Mm -hmm. and so go ahead and read what he was about to read she says and she tells Lex uh, Lex, she goes you know please Mr. Luther they is what the island dwellers call us I think we're all a little more civilized here and yes you delivered precisely what you promised my compliments and Lex says well then Dr. Sloan I say it's time you held up your end of the bargain but notice how she said she told him though the island dwellers call us they. Yes, yeah, which is interesting because Wordy. like the islanders call them they. The gamers who control the islanders used to call them the government. Yeah. And I- really now they're the IO. I still think that they're the government from like chapter one. You think so? Mm-hmm. Um, and then she goes, Look outside, Lex. We've already begun. And there but, has been But the thing is, why is it in quotation marks? Yeah, I I don't know. Uh, unless that's a cause you wouldn't put it in quotation marks unless it's a quote. Yeah. And there is a rift, just like there was in Gotham, ripped open in Metropolis, which if this took place, say this this event took place when it did, this is how Superman was able to enter the Fortnite map, was through this rift. Yeah, exactly. Um, And even at the bottom, in the red and black, you have um you have the Batman who laughs who who literally says far from the end. So we've had many events throughout Fortnite. And that was the end of issue six, which to me, and Randy thinks so too, this is going to lead to a set of Superman. Fortnite comics coming out. Probably six issues. Probably, I would probably say next season, maybe. Um, Because, think we're also getting the Batman one shot uh, in October. So, it has to be, we should be getting it if we're getting them next season. Exactly. And so, we've had, like you said, many different events. We've had a kind of mini island events that tries to destroy the island. We've had um, events like the Galactus event that has tried to destroy the Fortnite planet. 
and try to get the zero point. We've had events that have destroyed the Fortnite universe, which is the Dark Hole event. If the bat the Batman who laughs wants to get to the center of the omniverse, this would technically be a omniversal event that threatens not only DC but Marvel and everyone else who has ever collabed with Fortnite. Star there Wars, were Borderlands, uh, Street Fighter. Yeah, Street Fighter. Say that again, you broke up there. Uh, Street Fighter. Uh, uh, and other ones. Exactly. And so, here's the thing. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this now. And we can look back on this episode later. This... The next season 10 of this chapter will be the main enemy will be the Batman who laughs in chapter 2 season 10. I think so. And I think we have all these seasons to lead up to him coming to the island and just trying to destroy the Omniverse. I think it'd be kind of funny if he did come and he uh, used uh, Batman's place over in Slurpee to as a, like a place to hide out. We, yeah, and so obviously, why would the I.O. allow this if they were able to Like, keep everything in check for thousands of years. Exactly. Unless there's something bigger coming that they... I don't know. Unless they're trying to get them to help stop a bigger force coming. Which, I'm sitting here trying to think what that could be, but I... Because I don't think it'd be the aliens. No, no, because we would... Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't make any sense. So it's just like what could be bigger than the Batman who laughs? And that's a crazy question now to think about considering we had Galactus a few seasons ago. But he was just after the zero point. Yeah. So it's just, you know, maybe we'll see when we get closer to season X or season 10 and we'll we'll, or we'll think of something and maybe we'll be right yeah and we can uh do a a, another podcast talking about the story yeah um but yeah this is gonna be it thank you for listening to the iceberg lounge we thank you for your for you listening, for you reviewing it. Five stars would be great whenever you can. Um, thank you for sharing this podcast. Um, y'all mean so much. If y'all want to support the Iceberg Lounge, go to patreon.com slash T-R-J-I. And for a dollar a month, you can support the Iceberg Lounge. So that way this show can get bigger and bigger and better and better. Um, Also, don't forget to follow us on our social medias, which should be in the description of this episode below. So just know God loves you and we love you. And always remember, all to God, we'll see you in the next podcast.